Hey, what's up, guys? Toogie here, back again with another episode of my Ottawa Senators franchise mode series right here on NHL 18. And today, today, we take on the Tampa Bay Lightning in the Eastern Conference Final, the biggest series in this series history. We have lived up to every expectation so far, taking care of both Pittsburgh and Boston leading up to this matchup. We are 8-1 and one in this postseason thus far. Colorado and Edmonton's the other conference final for the record. I I am I just I don't know what to say about this. You guys, you know what we've gone through in this series in terms of prior disappointments, the twists and the turns that this series has taken in terms of you know, just team building and not expecting to go with RFAs but having RFAs be available. It's been weird, but it's all led to this with this team and this chance, our best chance, our best opportunity to find success. Of course, we are doing so without our captain, but we still won 56 games in the regular season, Tampa 47. Let's take a look at what we are up against in the form of this Tampa Bay Lightning squad. And this is what we're dealing with. Top line of Andre Palat. He has six points in this postseason. They've played 11 games for the record. Six points in 11 games. Steven Stamkos and Nikita Kucherov, who has been uh, surprisingly quiet. But obviously they still have that ridiculous top line. And with the second line, it might not get any easier. You still have Alex Kalorn, five points. Braden Point with seven and Evgeny Dadanoff, Dadanoff, but we're going to call him Dadanoff because you can't call him anything else for obvious reasons. He has four points this postseason. Third line is Drake Kajula, two goals with Tyler Johnson and Taylor Radish. The fourth line of Adam Ernie, Oscar Sunkvist, and Matthew Joseph. Obviously pretty well-rounded. The middle six is strong. That top line is ridiculous. Defensively, it's very top heavy. <laughs> Ryan McDonough, four points and a plus six with Mikhail Sergachev, six points and a plus five. Second pairing, Victor Hedman, seven points and a plus four. And from here is where it drops off. Uh, so we have a big three in terms of defense, uh, which could rival that in a way. I think even then, Tampa would have the advantage. Hedman, Sergachev, McDonough against uh, Eric Carlson, Yossi, and John Carlson. What a matchup that would be, but they certainly have the edge without us having Eric Carlson, but you could argue that our other three are much stronger than their other three on paper. They have Ludwig Bystrom, who has two points, but a plus five. The third pairing, Dominic Massin, Maschin, perhaps? I'm going to go with Massin. Uh, three points and a plus three with Ben Thomas, who is also a plus three. The goaltender is Andre Vasilevsky. Here's the problem. And here is why, in a way, every episode matters. We talked about the opportunity that we had of potentially trading away you know, assets to acquire Vasilevsky, and then we flip Vasilevsky out to a Western Conference team to recoup. We didn't do that. And now here we are in the conference final having to go up against Andre Vasilevsky. We will uh, we will find out whether or not we should have been cheap. He has a 945 save percentage and a 162 GAA in 11 games. Three of those eight wins have been shutouts. Jack LaFontaine is the backup. No injuries, but two healthy scratches. Eric Cernak and Anthony Sorelli. Pretty even on paper. I'd like to say we have the slight edge, but Vasilevsky is such a beast in franchise mode that I'm I'm afraid of what might happen here. We've been on an absolute tear. Will we have lost momentum after last episode? We 
We swept Boston. We stopped the sim. We come back now. Have we lost that momentum? Have we lost that EA favoritism? <sighs> There's only one way to find out. The Eastern Conference Final begins right now. Game one in Ottawa. Let's see if we can defend home ice. We need to get off to a good start here and prove that we can beat Vasilevsky early. First period. And it's not ideal. Nikita Kucherov gets the opening goal. Less than a minute later, Nikita Gusev ties it. Drake Kajula, though, the difference maker, 48 seconds left. He scores from a shot well outside. 12 shots to 9 in our favor. 2-1 to one on the board for the Lightning. So the top line's kicking in, and then Drake Kajula strikes. He is the difference maker thus far. Second period is scoreless, which is not good for many different reasons. 22 shots to 17. We are still down by a goal as we begin the third period. Come on. Prove that we can get to Vasilevsky, please. I'm so concerned. Tampa has a power play. We kill it off. We have a power play of our own. Please. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Another power play. Come on. Come on. If we can't score on the power play, we don't deserve the win. We're done. We're done or not. Henrik Borgstrom with a late goal. And then Kucherov. And then Dadnoff. Oh, my God. A five-minute power play, at least. We don't score. Borgstrom scores moments after it ends. And then 55 seconds after tying the game, Nikita Kucherov scores, and then Evgeny Dadnoff scores an empty net goal. The last few goals allowed by Shostyorkin, not exactly from ideal spots. And the Tampa Bay Lightning take game one. Two goals for Kucherov. We said he was quiet. Not anymore. 28 saves. For Vasilevsky, what the hell was with all that power play time? First of all, uh, here, you know what? Let's just look at the third period. So it was a boarding minor on Kucherov and a double minor for high sticking on Stamkos that we couldn't take advantage of. Uh, Borgstrom scores, and then again, Kucherov gets it right back. Wow. And then Ty Smith was in the goal, or was uh, in the box on the empty net goal for Dadanoff. I mean, penalty-wise... All that power play time, really. And we still lost. That's just, that's unacceptable with the with the power play units that we have. A very disappointing way to begin this series, obviously. Uh, we're not out of it, of course. It's still quite early, but the Lightning have achieved their goal of winning a game on the road to begin this series. We're not going to make any changes as of yet. But if we lose game two, if the worst case scenario happens, it's something that we may have to consider. So let's hope that's not the let's hope that's not the case. First period of game two, and it's just what is going on with our goaltending right now. Taylor Radish gets the opening goal. Heiskanen scores. Three minutes later, Pascal Carl scores, and then less than a minute later, Victor Hedman scores. So we have a real problem uh, with not allowing a goal in the immediate aftermath of scoring one. This is a positive, in a way, because we were doubled up in shots, 16-8. to eight. We're tied at two, you know, two apiece on the board, so that's nice. Not a strong period from Vasilevsky. Oh, boy. All right. Second period. That's much better, but I'm not going to get overconfident or optimistic. Gusev makes it three. Va or, yeah, uh, fucking Gusev makes it three. Mark Stone makes it four. So four goals allowed from Andre Vasilevsky here. We have proven that our offense can get to them. We're now outshooting them, by the way. They only had three shots that entire period. We outshot them, what, 17 to 5 that period? Like, are you... Wait, yeah, math? Yeah. No, shit, what do we have? Yeah, it was eight shots to 16. Jesus Christ. We fucking dominated them. Absolute domination. Uh, not good at math, 24, even though I, I just... I don't know. You get the point. I'm stressed. Okay. I am stressed out, man. It was 17 to 5, though. Or 17 to 3. Third period. Come on. Like I said, I wasn't going to get overly optimistic. Power play chance. Five on three. Please, for the love of God, I hate everything. 12 minutes to go. I'm so upset with our power play right now. We need to see how good the penalty kill is. Seven minutes to go. We still have a two goal lead. We've done very well shutting them down offensively. 
Two minutes to go. And there we go. All right, we get that first W in the series. 4-2 final, a very quiet third period. A shootout in the first, but then the two goals in the second were the difference maker. First star, two-point night for Mark Stone. Taylor Radish was up there. And Pascal Carl with a goal in the first period led the way to victory. So Tampa still has the slight edge as they win a game on the road early on. But we are tied at one win apiece through the opening two games. Uh, unlike the Western Conference where Edmonton is up 2 to nothing on the Colorado Avalanche. What I want to check is the Tampa penalty kill. I want to see how good they are in terms of postseason, regular season, the whole shebang. Actually, let's look at their power play as well, which is one of the worst. 14.3, we're at 17.5. Their penalty kill is at 80.4. Ours is uh, at 68. All right, let's maybe let's maybe let's maybe double check our penalty kill here because I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Pretty sure our penalty kill shouldn't be that bad. I never noticed that our penalty kill was that abysmal. Our power play, of course, is what you would expect, and it's amazing, and I love it. Although, although, you know, let's see. Maybe adding, like, a Hayton, a Kotkaniemi. Maybe not even a Kotkaniemi. Kotkaniemi has a good shot. Heist going to know with that 93 offensive awareness. I think I'm going to add Kotkaniemi and Hayton, perhaps. I don't know, I can't help but think, like, Heiskin for the offensive awareness, he has a really good shot. You know what, Heiskin and Hayton. Heiskin and Hayton. Guess what, fellas? You're going to get a chance as we look to change up the power play a little bit. Let's add in Barrett Hayton. Let me go over to left wing. Actually, no, right wing. And add in Heiskin. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to have... Let's have Carlson over here. Uh, Yossi on the left is... Actually, let's put Yossi over there. So let's have Borgstrom, Barzal, Gusev, Heiskin, and Yossi, Jost, White, Stone, Hayton, and John Carlson. I'm actually going to put Jost down on the uh, on the uh, the point. And then penalty kill, again, I know it's like you see the names here, but still, the defensive ratings, uh, there's no excuse. We are going to switch uh, Stone and Gusev, though, just to try and uh, drum up something. Also, let's put Yossi with Carlson. Just go all out on that top pairing. And then three-man penalty kill uh, is already as it should be. Goaltending, still Shostjorkin. We're good. We're good. Let's see how game three goes. We make adjustments only to the special teams, but it might have been worth it. This is a big moment. Let's see how we can fare on the road in Tampa. Game three. Let's do this. First period. And the lone goal for Dadnoff. About even in shots, not even on the scoreboard. 1-0 Tampa at the end of the opening 20. Second period is scoreless, and now I'm concerned. We are killing them in shots, 26-15. Vasilevsky has been the difference maker thus far. I'm shocked. To the third period we go. Early power play chance, please, for the love of... Of God, it's on one time sim and we can't score. We have another power play opportunity. Please, for the love of God. Come on, man. Five on three. Thank you. Gusev scores. It's not on the power play, but my God. Why is our power play not taking advantage of these chances? Six minutes. Heiskanen. Heiskanen, we have the lead. Come on. Come on. Under four. Under four. Can we hold on? 52. Yes. 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 Yes, Gusev ties it, and Heiskanen wins it. No magical follow-up goal from Tampa to restore the lead this time out. Heiskanen is the difference maker. Again, our power play letting us down, at least in terms of third period performance. In the first and second period, they might very well be getting power play goals. But still, we've had multiple five-on-threes now that we haven't scored on. Gusev ties it. Heiskanen wins it. A third period comeback for the Sens. We killed them in shots. Vasilevsky, I'd say rightfully so, was the first star with a 37 save performance. Shostyorkin only 19 saves, but he got the job done. Heiskanen, the winner, and the Ottawa Senators have bounced back to take a 2-1 series lead after dropping the first game. 
Oh boy. Oh boy, you know what? You know what? I think I'm gonna change up the power play as well. Like I said, they might still be doing well in uh, in the first two periods, but still, I'm nervous about this, so I wanna change it up. And I'm gonna do so by... Oh boy. By swapping Stone and Gusev. And Yossi and Carlson. Let's give it a slightly different look. Try to balance it out a little bit more. Let's see how that works. We'll see how that works out. Just a slight change. Just to try and create a little bit more of a spark. To game four we go. Let's see what happens. This is huge. Both teams have taken a game on the road. But... Obviously here, game four, a chance to take that commanding 3-1 series lead. Let's see what happens. First period, and what a start. Henrik Borgstrom and Thomas Shabbat. Pretty sure that's his first goal of the postseason. We were outshot 19-7. A huge start to this game for Tampa in terms of offensive production after we've been pretty much killing them in terms of shots all, you know, all series. But we're up 2 to nothing at the end of 20. 19 shots to 7, but Borgstrom and Shabbat, the difference makers. What a beginning to this game. Unfortunately, it is just the beginning. Second period, can we at least maintain a lead? Not only can we do that, Sammy Heiskanen makes it 3. 30 shots to 18, but we are up 3 to nothing. Borgstrom, Shabbat, and Heiskanen. Third period. Can we hold on? Can we take this 3-1? Oh my god, Val Claire makes it four. Can we take a 3-1 series lead back home with us? Tyson Jost makes it five. I can't get optimistic or excited about this until it's clear that the series is over. Oh my god. Five nothing final in game four a 44 save shutout for Igor Shestyorkin the biggest game of his career and we are one game away after dropping game one, we have gone on to outscore Tampa 11-3 over the next three games, including a 5 to nothing shutout for Igor Shestyorkin. We are back home in Ottawa for game five. Can we get the job done here in our first attempt? Let's find out. First period. And it's a goal apiece. Ryan McDonough, the opening goal. Sammy Heiskinen, postseason monster. Eight shots to five. We're tied. I'll take it. Second period. Not ideal. Andre Palat with the lone goal. 20 shots to 13 in our favor, but we are down two to one as we enter the third period. We have an early power play chance that we can't score on. I'm not surprised that they have a power play chance that they can't score on it either. 12 to go. We have a power play opportunity yet again that we cannot score on. We're halfway through the third period, and I'm not nervous at all. Five minutes to go. I got a feeling that will do it for the goal scoring, and it's looking like that is indeed the case. We've seen that script play out one too many times. A 2-1 lead heading into the third that holds. Tampa takes game five. This series is going back to Florida. Unfortunately. Vasilevsky with a 32 save performance. Palat with the goal. Heiskin in with another goal. Like I said, uh, the second we got beyond that 10 minute mark without a goal, kind of knew we were in trouble. Again, this is why I'm trying not to be too ridiculous. <laughs> Game six. Let's jump right into it. Let's see what happens. Can we get the job done on our second attempt? First period. Oh my god. 
for numerous reasons. Oh my god. Four to two. A six goal first period on 21 shots. Don't worry, the biggest thing is what I've noticed, and it was the first thing I noticed. Kucherov scores the opening goal on Shostyorkin. Barrett Hayton ties it up by scoring on Jack LaFontaine. Vasilevsky is not between the pipes. Jost adds another one just over a minute later, a minute and four to be exact. Vauclair and Krebs add two more. Three goals from our bottom six. Tyson Jost adds another. Three goals from the bottom six alone. Four goals on 11 shots. It's four to two at the end of the first period. But again, we cannot get too excited just yet. Second period, can we at least hold on to the lead? We can, and we can add to it. It's Henrik Borgström making it five. LaFontaine is still in, 27 shots to 17. We are taking a 5-2 to two lead into the third period of game six. 20 minutes away from going to the Stanley Cup Final and probably playing Edmonton. We have a power play that we can't score on. That's fine. Tyler Johnson makes it a two-goal game. We're halfway through the third. Come on. Please just hold on here. Just hold on. 107 to go, and you bet your ass I'm going to jump into this moment and watch this. We are a minute and seven seconds away from stealing a spot in the Eastern, or from stealing, a, from stealing a spot into the Stanley Cup Final. I just, I can't even, I, I can't even, I just can't even. Game six of the Eastern Conference Final. Oh my god. Come on, just hold on. Just hold on, please. A minute and five to go, the puck is dumped in. Why LaFontaine was in over Vasilevsky, I don't know. It had to have been injury. Stamkos has the puck, 55 to go. Breakout pass to Andre Palat. LaFontaine to the bench. McDonough, huge, huge glove save from Igor Shestyorkin denying Ryan McDonough. Oh my god, what a save. We needed that. God, we needed that. Top line v. top line, empty net for the Lightning. Barzal takes the draw against Stamkos and loses. Sergachev looking for space. Big save. Stamkos the rebound. It's interrupted. Back up to the point. It's Kucherov. Now Palat and Stamkos. Kucherov. Back to the point. 36 to go. Sergachev. Tampa working it around, trying to find space. Headman, it's poked and exits the zone. Line change here for the Sens. 28 to go. McDonough recovers to the point. Sergachev down low for Stamkos. Just working with another save. Come on, Carlson recovers. Just Yorkin will take it off his tape to cover it. 16.4 to go. Igor Just Yorkin with some huge saves. Gigantic saves. The rally towel physics are out of control. Second line v. Second line. Can we hold on? Another, another draw one. Bystrom, the one-timer. Might have gone wide. Yossi loses it. Hedman. Dadnoff. To the point. It's broken up. Six seconds to go. Kucherov for point. Yossi gets it. Turns it over. Save again. The Ottawa Senators are going to the Stanley Cup final. Holy hell. I don't know. I don't know what happened to Vasilevsky. I don't know if someone hit him with a lead pipe. I don't know. I don't care. We have finally slayed the dragon. The Tampa Bay Lightning are out. And we are finally going to the Stanley Cup final. Igor Shestyorkin, you beautiful man. Henrik Borgstrom stepping up. Not going to touch the trophy. He's not even wearing an alternate, which is weird. I guess it just decided on him because, of course, I don't have a captain right now. I, I went with the three A's. That's what I wanted to see. I just I wanted to see that moment. I wanted to see that trophy. Going to the goddamn cup final. 38 shots to 30. 
Two goals for Tyler Johnson was not enough. Peyton Krebs, your second star. Oh my god. We have done it. We are going to the Stanley Cup Final again. I didn't want to get overly optimistic because this game loves to kick a guy. Just in general. After losing game one, we won three straight. We dropped game five on home ice, but we win game six. We are cup final bound where it's more than likely Edmonton. It is Edmonton. That's confirmed. Edmonton beat Colorado in five. An all-Canadian cup final, Edmonton and Ottawa. Henrik Borgstrom, 15 points so far in 15 games. An absolute monster. Again, goal scoring wise, it wasn't quite where we wanted it to be through the first round. He stepped up in an unbelievable way. Oh my god, 14 points for Barzal. And for Gusev, 10 points, 7 goals. I'll take it. I'll take it. Second line, Tyson Joe, 7 points. He's a minus 2. 9 points for Colin White. 9 points for Mark Stone. Third line, Kotkaniemi, 6 points and a plus 6. Eight points for Barrett Hayton and a plus four. Seven goals for Sammy Heiskinen. Ten points total. Just a playoff beast. 67 poise, by the way. So I don't really think you can put much stock into that. And then the fourth line. Three points for Krebs. A plus five. Six points for Vauclair. A plus seven. Five points for Pascal Carl and a plus four. They might collapse in the cup final, but that fourth line, that bottom six in general, has been amazing. Absolutely incredible. And then defensively, Thomas Shabbat, two points. He's a plus five, though. Eight assists for Carlson. He's a plus four. Eleven points for Roman Yossi. He's a plus nine. Four for Dobson. He's a plus seven. No points for Ty Smith, but he's a plus four. No points for Kaltanen, but he is a plus six. The goaltender, Igor Frickin' Shest Yorkin, 15 games, 12 wins, a 928 save percentage, which isn't great, but it's good enough. A 204 GAA with two shutouts. Again, we have not seen John Gillies play. Eric Carlson, he's not going to be back for the cup final. <sighs> Can we win this for our captain? What a shame that's going to be if we win the cup without Eric Carlson on the ice, but still technically being on our team. <laughs> That's what this series was about. The moment of, you know, turning around the Ottawa Senators, but the moment of seeing Eric Carlson raise the cup in a Sens jersey might be robbed from us, but we're not there yet. We're still four wins away. I wanted to see here. Vasilevsky, it might have just been a one-game injury, but Jack LaFontaine played and did not do well. I don't know what happened with Vasi. I don't care. We got the result that we needed. We got the result that we wanted we are going to the Stanley Cup Final, where we will be taking on the Edmonton Oilers. We have home ice advantage, and oh my god, he's not going to be at 100%, but Eric Carlson is back. He is back. Shea will be sent down. Carlson will not play, unless he's 100%, unless it's a cup-winning situation in which case we will risk it. So he will not play, but he is available. And maybe, just maybe, that dream is still alive of Eric Carlson raising the Stanley Cup. The 56-22-4 Ottawa Senators have stormed their way to the Cup Final. will be taking on the 7th best team in the NHL, 45-27-10 in the regular season. We will be taking on the Edmonton Oilers in the next episode. I cannot believe it. I want to be much more hyped and chair throwing and just Nintendo 64 and Christmas, but I just, I can't because the job isn't done yet. They beat Vancouver in five. They swept Anaheim and then beat Colorado in five. We beat Pittsburgh in five, swept Boston, and then beat Tampa in six. Very similar paths. We have one more game played. It's the all-Stanley Cup final. Edmonton 
And Ottawa, and for the record, Bridgeport's up 2 to nothing on Bakersfield. So it's a very successful season so far for the Oilers organization. But we have a chance to ruin it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I am so nervous already for the next episode. <sighs> we decided to go for it this year, above all others. And we are one series away. Four wins away from making it happen. Thank you so much for watching. You know the deal here on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share, notification bell. Tell people, just in general, about the magic that's going on over here. And until next time, have a good one. Take it easy. I love you all. See you next time. Go, Sens, go. Please go and win. Please, I'm begging you, really.